Sure do love golf magazine presents 30 36 great holes with was it frank coving don't we don't we love this love this album 36 great holes starring fred couples excuse me hey hey everybody good evening welcome welcome to the friday stream welcome to the early friday stream um yeah thursday was canceled I had to wake up very early this morning to cover mid shift so I'm gonna be on that for a couple days, so I figured I might as well abuse it. And, you know, stream earlier in the day. So hey Koji, hey Azer. Thank you for the 10 months, by the way, Koji. Thank you. And don't don't worry, I did hey word. I did I did my due diligence. Um L is like 300 years old. It's fine. It's older than red. <laughs> but welcome back to Soul to Robo. You'll understand what I mean here in uh just a few moments, but yeah. I'm gonna keep going. I do want to beat this game. It's like I said, it's like the last Cyber Connect like tail little tail Bronx game that I I can like play and beat at this point. So I I gotta get I want to get through it. I think it'll be interesting enough from a story standpoint to put up with the the very easy gameplay. But you know, it's fine. Um, I gotta tell you uh, something. What quite, quite amazing happened uh, on my way home amazing i mean uh terrifying because i was uh i was walking home from the bus stop and uh i see a shape like in front of the apartment like on the sidewalk and our sidewalk's like a good like 100 feet from our front door Woo! louder than expected um anyway so i see a shape i see a small is there a hard type hack? oh hey rachel yeah good timing Welcome to the friday night Friday night dog stream. Um, but I was just explaining the story I was when I was walking home from work tonight. Um, so I see just this dark shape like on the ground, and I'm like, oh, that's a cat. It's so loud. But I, I see a cat. I see a cat on the ground. I'm like, oh my god, this cat is gonna like try to cross the street in like heavy traffic. I gotta like herd it away from traffic. And I'm like, oh my god, is that Robin? Because it's happened like once before he's gotten out and just kind of sat there. And so I was like freaking out. I'm like, did Robin get out of the house? Oh my God, where did he get out? What what window did he jump through? Who left the door open? Who am I, who am I gonna strangle? And then I get closer and it's the fucking raccoon. <laughs> that's, the, that's been in the backyard and won't leave Robin alone now because they like play or something. They hiss at each other. So the raccoon is just like in the middle of the sidewalk near the street at night, and I think it's just a baby. It's pretty small. I mean, it's not like a baby, like it's a full-size raccoon, but he's not like a big fatty like they get this time of year. So I think he's just like living in the wood pile behind our apartments, which is fine. But it was just like, oh, thank God. Yeah, they're playing. They're having a good time together. They're in, They're enjoying each other's company. Um... Yeah, no, so thankfully don't have to put up with that. So, <laughs> it's it's totally fine. Um did not have to he he did he ran away on his own. Um he wasn't gonna run on the road, I don't think. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't Robin too. Robin was asleep on the bed. Well, actually he came walking up to me because I said, hey Goober, like into the house so I could see where he was, and he came like running around the corner. All right, so where were we? If you weren't here last time, we picked up a we picked up a cat boy. We picked up a cat boy twink, uh, and also a medallion that seems to destroy everything around me. Whatever you know, wherever I end up, so it's it's not great. Oh. The controller not working. Oh no no, there we go. 
the spin in the town of flowing water. Uh, anyway, the game, the, the combat is very easy. Be prepared. Oh, hey, it's Frito. Oh my God! Wait, is that is that the little? That's not no. Frito isn't the little guy sidekick from uh, Tail Concerto. That was someone else. That's, that's like that's Panta. Right. I got scared for a second that his hair looked like this under his hat. I actually don't remember this quest at all. Give me the key. Frito. I think this was the side quest I was doing. I don't remember. Yeah, I was cruising in my mech. Yeah, I watched a bunch of movies this week. We watched, um... Logging them on Letterboxd. Watched... watched Runaway Ralph, of course, on Sunday Star Dogs Coffee. Oh yeah, did we talk about that last time? I can't remember. I was pretty sleepy. Doesn't that key belong to your grandfather? Um The last Sunday we watched uh Runaway Ralph in here. And The Mouse and the Motorcycle, of course, the prequel. Um then Monday I watched Cruisin, which was the which is a a, a gay thriller like slasher movie kinda from the from the 70s directed by uh, I don't know from 1980 directed by William Friedkin the guy directed The Exorcist and it's grandfather's very busy now it's like a it's like a killer in like the New York underground gay scene and um, Al Pacino has to uh, <laughs> pretend to be Al Pacino gets uh, force gayed by his boss who is pa who's a uh, Paul Sorvino who tells him he's got to go gay and go undercover and it's like very weird I'll go with you. Uh, it's very weird because it gets like some stuff like really right and then it gets some stuff just like vastly wrong and it's like again made by a straight person so it's extra weird to watch it's it was a fun movie I, in a way like it was a really fascinating look at what like <laughs> the 1980s were thought of anyway we gotta go to the mayor's house oh yeah the key was what the uh the bad guys wanted to get it first How are you um then let's see after after cruising i uh, watched uh the uh sanrio anime classic ring ringing bell Kristen, that was great definitely worth a watch 44 minutes long on 2v type 44 minutes it's beautiful it's very fun very sorry I only, only wanted to protect the key from the, oh the curvas those are the bad guys and then a scatter mouse I grabbed it yeah no it was just, okay so I we watched ringing bell and I was like wow that was the same length as ratatouille <laughs> I thought that was like over before we even knew it uh, it's just to show you that a uh, pacing that doesn't involve all the characters running around over white room several times in the movie. Really go the distance. Your want to use a key for something terrible. Not let them have it. Who knows what they'll do? Spin it if I don't give it to them. That's his voice. How many ratatoy? Yeah, you count films and segments of ratatoyks. I have an idea. Simply tell them that we stole it. You're nice people. Chill. I don't know, it kind of feels like LL is like assembling like a doomsday weapon. I mean that they'll start coming after you. Additionally, I'll uh, I'll mention it here, but uh, I think we're going to be looking at a double stream weekend coming up here on Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, like strap in, I guess. We'll do we'll do two short streams. Yeah, we we do love red, don't we? All boyfriends. It's it's boyfriends all the way down. Opens a shrine in the waterways beneath the city. The entrance to these waterways. It's underwater. You can't go there unless you open the water gate. All boyfriends. Where do we go to open the water gate? Yeah, it's got it's got boyfriends in the same way that like Tail Concerto has girlfriends. I I guess. There's also boyfriends in Tail Concerto, but 
It's definitely not the focus. Did you say I talked to somebody? Paying attention and not gabbing. somewhere else this is this is the entrance yeah but I mean like waffle waffle is a strictly non-violent cop he captures them in bubbles and even then they all get cookies at the end and everybody lives happily they learn to live in peace at the end and they realize that they were all being bad he's strictly strictly non-violent weaponry Yeah, exactly. But even Waffle admits at the end that the cats were in the right for doing what they did. Like, yeah, he's just trying to be on vacation. To the East War. Oh, right, I'm like on the main quest, so I need to like. Finish that before I start the other ones. Here's the gondola. I gotta get off to the dahuk. Love well, listening to the radio with the murmuring trickles of water from the canal. Hey. If I go in my gay little boat. Oh, this guy, right? Hello. Got a friendly face, my friend. Might you be wanting? Why might I do that? That's Watergate. Can you? What does what does lowering the water level do here? So like, does this cause like damage earlier? Like, does, is this gonna damage a bunch of boats? Cause the water level is gonna go down like earlier than normal. This feels very like very self-centered. I'm assuming they turn it off like like at a certain point every day or something. But like, water shouldn't be much of a problem now. You are so kind. Wow. He's a very, like, um, strange, right? They went with a much smaller screen. Scary, but impressive. I do remember, like, having trouble playing this, like, when I was playing it on DS in real life, but it wasn't, um, more than it was very, it was hard to look at the little screen for very long that way. <laughs> the entrance to the underground waterway. Free sign. Uh, I guess I can just like. Hmm. I kill one of these. Seems very hard, actually. I don't know if you can. He can. I 
the, the, the hawk here. I gotta, I gotta go swimming. Ooh, that lag. It's pretty accurate to the, to the DS. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't swing it. He, like, shoots a little stun laser with it. I don't think he was allowed to use a gun. It was still 2010, you know? Meanwhile, you got fucking... Well, you got fucking, uh, oh, was it? Fuga Melodies and Steel being about sacrificing children to war. The machine of war. Great. Very, very totally different. Zuzu. Repeatedly press the A button while swimming to swim faster. Easy, you can just outmaneuver them when you're tiny. Fuga is like oh, so totally different. It's very good. It's a it's Fuga's the perfect like Switch game or I guess like Steam Deck now. In the water, I better get back to my I better get back to me robot. Oh, I didn't get that chest. Get on the robot to examine. Oh yeah, I gotta go all the way down here. It get it does get a little grindy. That's the problem with food. It's, it's a little too long. Like it's maybe like 20% too long for my taste normally, but like I did want to like stick it out and finish it at least, so that was fun. Didn't didn't lose a single kid, and I I went through like hard mode pretty much like most times. I was like, I think there's a way to do this. You just have to like be re really like careful and yeah. Use you mostly use Boron. He's the best character. Love to collect rings. I think that's where we want to go. Okay, I'm gonna explore the rest of the area then. Oh, yeah, his deal was he could uh, reduce armor, if I remember right. Like he did, he did like he did like a he's very good he's like stupid good, uh, but I I feel like he can reduce like armor levels to everybody is like the big one. And he's he like he's the only person who like starts with it like everybody else can get it like eventually but like they were pretty bit crushed. Or some of the voice lines were at least, you know, because I, I think I think the problem is the music track is on the track the voice the vocal track would be on normally, right? It's like the music's in like a higher bit. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Oh, you can grab asshole. <laughs> that worked perfect. I love that they explode. Whoa. That's fair, this is a very, like... Okay. Rachel is the authority on this, so... 
Yeah, maybe maybe I've got Game Boy Advance on the brain for sure. Oh no. Oh, I can get him. Fun to just flip them on the face, like just because you can I can mash like extra hard, I can flip them face to face when you're not supposed to be able to. Oh. Yeah, definitely. This sounds like a PS1 game. Yeah, I love the soldier outfits. They're very cute. That's our target. Jervis has laid out a welcoming party. Good <laughs> furry, man. Where you guys and what are you doing down here? Is he an opposing mech fighter? Looking for the crystal stone, too? I don't even know what that is. Even own a crystal stone. What? Yeah, it's not perfect. Wait, didn't I? Let me put the uh. Let me see if I put the thing back on the the weird mag. Oh, that. Like that scam line. <laughs> We're gonna go back to playing with filters again, everybody. Oh. Elinir. Yeah, I. I... <laughs> this is definitely this is DS uh, DS Mu Me, I believe. It's probably an old install of it too. I didn't actually update my like my cathode ray DS. Yeah, we don't have the keys, so we aren't getting anywhere. You guys are made for each other. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I gotta get her behind him. Come on, they just like let you run behind them. Fine. I don't think he can kill me. This game requires so much mashing. got a sword and they, you know. Kind of just like made for each other that way. Oh. 
this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's fucking dead. Do less, yeah, but you also keep them stun locked longer. It's kind of the my main reasoning for doing that, at least. That takes, leaves them not open to attack. It tells all about the curvas as one. Okay. It's the key to get to the crystal stone. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try to sneak in the stream tomorrow. I'm thinking like 11 or noon to play more Metal Gear Acid. I, I don't know. I might just do su a long Sunday stream instead. Kind of what I'm thinking. It'll be more fun. Be more prepared. Play Dwarf Fortress tomorrow, for instance. By myself. No, um... I do have to, like, put together, like, Christmas stuff, so... I need to, like, take inventory. I gotta... I gotta take inventory of my baked goods, my bake su baking supplies, because I gotta bake a bunch of stuff here in the upcoming week. Source of my power, no-no, is reacting to the stone. The source of my power, no-no. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's always fun. It's definitely has something to do with Larry's. Flip before. What once? You mean like like the manager and stuff and the expedition leader? Those nobles? The ones that arrive. They're already nobles. Getting ready. Are you okay? I'll, I can't I'll talk about Door Fortress. See before the other Kervas spot us. We're off. Crystal stone was taken? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, no, those are the ones, those are the special nobility. Crystal stone was taken. I like Bruno. I <laughs> toyed with them too much. I like Blue Furry Man. Time for jokes. There's a smallish red ro <laughs> robot. The hunter's name was Red. Yeah. Merveil. I think we talked about Merveil last time. It's like they're like furry Yu Yu Hakusho designs. It's very funny. Oh, god damn it! You're so right, Azer. Every guy, every time. <laughs> very well, Guildmaster Grin. Can you track them down? Every time, it's the Time Book Han Trio all over again. We special ops shall recover the missing item, fear not. Hey, Jordan. Yeah, no, it's it's very fun to, to send your, your dwarf army at people and watch them just fucking obliterate. I have like six spear dwarves right now that are all like skilled spear dwarves and they killed an Eden and ripped it apart in like 10 seconds. In my regards to Director Lady Opera for me, can't. I didn't understand we shall depart at once. Yeah, Alua is like it's very much like the the, the Irish guy in the in the, the dark turn of an arc of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, and that's the only thing. It's the worst connection to make. I haven't dug, dug deep enough in my current fortress. I've been too busy doing planning and setting stuff up. I really need to like dig into the mountain and start doing like long-term planning. I'm at like 70 dwarves or something like that. The rat trouble, the, the ominous tower, I believe is what it's called. I'm gonna build, my goal is to build, god damn it. You see this hilarious thing we might be done with it? The ceiling ceremony is called the Rite of Forbid. Sorry, there's just so much story in this fucking game. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna build a giant tower that goes all the way down to like magma is the idea. 
with just like a big empty fucking air moat around it. I think it'll be very fun. It's a TV show. It basically is a TV show, yeah. I love I love that like we want to make like, a furry anime, but we can only animate like five seconds of clips. In one of the sacred lands where it can be formed is well hidden. Its location changes each time of very use and appears only when the time is right. Let's go run some quests until this door shows up. Yeah, this movie is tuned up in the meantime as well. This is to Diamundo and Darren Islands. Should just be a, a, a nothing anime. No, yeah, we've been. I've honestly like I keep playing it not because like the combat's very good. I just like I'm curious as to where it goes, and you know I I love me my tail concerto so so sick, Jordan. Very jealous. I want to get more attacks so I can just destroy stuff very quick. How much? Oh, I got 10 points? Hmm. I like that and that. Oh! It explains if you hover it. Oh, cool. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that. That... It's probably what I want then. I will I will go buy hydraulics with my my shiny rings. Go next though. Oh, I have to do quests. Oh god, look at all these quests. I go to the dual ship. I know I'm just gonna have to fight, so that's probably the easiest way, right? We'll fight many in this exhibition match. This crowd loves to see a bold hunter fighting the odds. Give us a good fight. It's fine too, because the worker sells like good hydraulics here. Hydraulics plus seven? Oh, there we go. Hydraulics plus ten. The brick. Perfect. I like the- I really like the chunkiness of this. That's so funny. So it, it's is it just is it just used for the file the DSI uh, shit? DS had a lot of games with like very good UI design. I feel like. Oh, interesting. Actually, didn't know that. Very, very Cyber Connect thing. Fighting exhibition match that you've all been waiting for. Red versus the terrible trio. Okay. Bunch of Kurvos. Oh, wow, yeah. I <laughs> pick him up instantly. I like the referee a lot. Um. Oh, we. 
Going straight into round two. Blackbird combination. <laughs> Great. Boss says this for our own good. I'm almost too scared to move. Ah, uh, we. That's French. Oh no. All right, I have to go around the front. Or I, I cannot get them from the front because they have spikes. Lifts on my Mac and suddenly it's, it's overpowered. No, wait, there's no way I'll ever lose to goons like you. College brothers, you're faced with our combined powers. You might as well just give up now. Now, man, I'm just gonna like pick you up immediately and throw you into the other one. finish? No, you have to you have to grab and blow them each up. Okay. Thought maybe I could like get one into the other. Champion of today's brutal duel is Red Savarin. Didn't even break a sweat. not a uh, fool in a mask. Here's your fight money. How much should I get for that? Eh. I guess it's still a quest finished. Yeah. Stevie's got another one. These are supremely easy quests, so... He does have another one. What am I saying? Be giving some dual tips to some special fans. Okay, I'm uh, beating up fans. Perfect. Special dual training for a fan, uh, you mean a fan of mine? Her name is Toffee. <laughs> Trying to make people interesting. New face that everyone expects big things from. We'll bring in some more customers. Why? <laughs> What's this training all about? Perfect training and out of duel. Okay. Yeah, watching it's getting comboed over and over again. Oh no, I don't want to destroy her. I'm going to destroy her. <laughs> I'm gonna combo her. Is she from something else? I don't know what to say. Why are you in here? For seeing you in battle, I was so excited. 
It's, I like her a lot. He was great. I'm sure to put on a good show for you today. But she wanted me to fight her. I was like, uh. So cool. I was like, I'll destroy her. <laughs> I'm so confused. I guess it's just more fights. Perfect. I thought it was just one fight. Be cheering for you from the stands. Oh, we. We? That you've all been waiting for has arrived. A special exhibition match. Oh, the rats are here. So here the wolves are coming. They do look suspiciously like the Windows Movie Maker rats, I will say. Fledgling Hunter, let the bravery of one of the best among our current fighters future ambitions. Watch our, like, number one star step on some rats. He is... How will you handle these vicious monsters? Uh, I will throw one into the air and then uh, throw it into another one three times in a row before it falls. We'll do that again. That worked. <laughs> that was stupid. so cool the way you picked up those rats and threw them 50 feet. So heroic. Who's about to start? Oh, I like them tough, don't worry. Oh my god. win within three minutes. That's going to be tough. The hell win in three minutes. Uh, uh we. Oh no. I don't want to yawn. Not a high after his winning round one. What amazing battle will he show next? The blazing, the blazing red light of hope that leads fledglings back on the one true path, the one and only red. Something special. I do like the- yeah, at least you get to see the ref. Turned into a full-blown rule now. God. Alright. <laughs> Please. Five seconds. That's it. 
I should get a bonus. Yeah, that I that got that timer almost got me, <laughs> Rachel. Woof. Too close for comfort. That's how a real hunter does it. Yeah, it's kind of just kind of limited. Just kind of like two buttons. Kind of play this game with two buttons. The game, yeah, no, it definitely makes up for it in production value. It's totally fine. Time limits the rules, yep. Nope. Thank you, Toffee. You like you, Toffee? <laughs> those rules you're gonna find under this time. You should. Within a minute, easy. Oh, epic weave moment coming. Well, it's like, haha, this guy's so easy to bait, and it's like, no, he kind of, Red doesn't mind doing it. Extravaganza. You know you all are crazy for more. Using Glorious is right. The one and only lone robot raider. Chill in this one within one minute. People think it's like fixed at this point. If you lose, you have to sit through all this dialogue again. <laughs> I'm going, the round three is going to start soon. Are you ready for round three to start? Final round is going to be a tough one. Can you repeat this in a minute? Final round. This is just wrestling, you're right. Oh yeah, look at that chug. It's like eating my jumps. By virtue of this mission being by, by, by virtue of this mission having a minute time limit just means that the, it was gonna be an easier fight than the last one having a three minute time limit so you know cool red very cool Problem with the likes of me. I'll tell you something important. Have you? You don't get me fight money. All right, I have to have space for it first, though. My kid sister shocked a lot. Robin? Oh my god. I put my water bottle down and bonked Robin on the head. You don't seem to mind, though. Buddy. Very big man. Because I have to be. Oh no. Ruining my masculine image for coffee. Your allowance. I mean, 
That's your big head. Right. You're prepared for the fullest actions you've done. laying down on the rug right now, just staring at me. Oh, nope, he got back up, I lied. Tipped over, and then immediately got back up so he can get pets. Bye, Red. My toffee. I'll have to find a man of less discerning interests. This guy's mech. Him. Yeah, for real. They're all nerds. Darvin Islands. Go to the Darvin Islands. All youth. Let's do like one more quest, um, and I'll probably have to go the short stream tonight. But, you know, they usually are anyway. Is opera the same situation you put us in, right? Well, screw up has made a boatload more work for us. <laughs> Robin, leave me alone. Attack in my elbow now. Attack isn't strong word, he's batting my elbow. Here's we head to the Darwin yeah. Islands. We all I know, he's like, I wanna what's Red up to? Tell me what's going on. Let's get into the voice. Playing a ship this big through the Darwin Islands would be suicide. What about the Reclaimers? The Reclaimers. <laughs> eh. Okay, I can do it again. I know. The right of forfeit. It wasn't that hard the first time. I need your head looks where it is. <laughs> your butts again at spinning, what else is new? Is they've sent their special ops out after you. Look a muscle that does the shady things for the curve has. Oh, I see Quebec. I like Quebec with his grill. He looks like he wants out, but I don't think he does. He's just kind of pacing the spot. So dumb. Gotta be, you know, L's gotta be the straight guy to his dumb guy. Classic comedy duo. Crystal stone. <laughs> Great guy to his gay guy, yeah, exactly. Tw the twink to his uh, himbo or whatever. Now, people really don't say himbo anymore, and I'm so happy for that. Release the reclaimer seeds. Raise a paw if you're too hurt to raise a paw. No paws in the air. <laughs> yeah, put your paws in the air, everybody. I thought it did. I, I mean, I, I think it had a, I think it had its usage, but you know. Thank you, Jordan. 
I'm gonna check out set. I think it had its uses, but then it got overused. You know, it's like thick. Oh, one paw in the air, no paws in the air. Okay, I gotta put Robin out one sec. Meowie. What's up? Free. He wants to probably go eat kibble and take a shit. Are we? Yeah. Whoa. Throw the crystal stone or else things will get ugly. Kick some ass. What else you got? Have to throw them over there, maybe? No. There's too many of them, they keep coming. Oh, okay. Where are they and how do I get rid of them? Back. No, I can I can see them. Yeah, I know that the, the the joke about the Genshin Impact thick characters is very funny. I sleep. I call Diamundo to ask if I come and do repairs. Okay. Put the hawk in the flying mode. Oh, I get to do the um, really awful flying mode from Tail Concerto, I imagine. It's very hard to control, but kind of fun. Control and flying mode is kind of different. I guess it could fly. Yeah, I gotta be- I gotta uh, control this. Hold down the B button to float and press up to move forward. Press down on the control pad to ascend and up to descend. Look, Marissa's controls. I'm sure we'll spin and ran the enemy. Like this? Oh, okay. Oh. Kind of fun though. This is see. This is this is much more fun than the combat. Did I reset the camera? Oh, okay. Ah. getting the hang of like the, the proper controls but oh no having trouble yeah the camera is hard to control <laughs> oh no your boost gauge runs out you lose altitude yeah i know thank you Great. <laughs> oh, it didn't it didn't really matter, okay. One control ship. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yes I know. The blood war control ships. Where? Over there, yeah. But I can't believe it's very funny they put a segment like this in the game again. It's like because they did one in Tail Concerto. The controls very similar. This is a this is a bit better, but.
<laughs> exactly though. Extra little boost at the end there, at least. I think water bad. They really do this feel like, oh, but flying. You know why? You know, do you want to know the real reason for that word? Do you, do you all want to know the shocking truth? Why every game had flying in it? From this era, like, the 2000s? Does anyone, does anyone know the answer out there? That the core reason why flying was in every game? Because of World of Warcraft. It's because World of Warcraft added it. No other game that had flying before World of Warcraft. <laughs> they were the first game to have flying, did you know? <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I'm like making that up. That's not true. <laughs> it's the reason like a bunch of MMOs had flying, but not like every game. <laughs> it's just like there was a every every game was every MMO was copying World of Warcraft after they added flying, and so that was like a big thing you sold your game on was like. You could fly in our game at level one. You don't have to wait till level 70 like in World of Warcraft. Play a real game. See? See, everybody wanted, it's very funny. Like, it's the same thing with, um, uh, what was it? What was it, Fly, fly for Fun? It was like a free MMO that came out that was like, you, you get to fly from level one, but it like sucks shit. You're like on like a, like a witch's broom. Their claimers have been eliminated. Your flying gets slowly better as you level up and the game is built around you flying everywhere. It's great. All well, the robots around the Asmodeus is falling on the ground. I'm getting back now. But every fucking MMO had to have flying after World of Warcraft. It was very funny. And I'll let him. A May Lady Opera. <laughs> it's just the state of MMOs at the time. Played so many free MMOs around that era. What a waste of time. It's great. Really great. Hello. Super fast is zooming straight. Oh, it's Mystery Man. Pray to the wind. It's here. I like him. We'll move. Oh yeah, that was like 2015 or something, right? 2013? I don't know when Cataclysm came out. Beluga. Thought it was using the older brother. Oh yeah, he's gonna cry. The crystal stone. I'm gonna blow up your brother. Oh, this sucks. Eh, hand it over. No, fight him. Kick his ass, are you kidding me? 2010? Oh, same year as this! Look, see? Lying. Did you say something, Koji? 
think you're hearing what you want to hear. I love these like stock RPG Maker 2003 sound effects. How's El doing? Stepped outside to think by himself for a while. He went up for a smoke. He kind of ruined to ask lots of questions though, right? He made it here, old timer. Oh. You do something for me. Oh, I have a sleepy baby tonight. Young bloods help me test a race machine. Boy, I hope I get to fly. I think it's just bone, yeah. Like, uh, I guess there are there cigarettes in Undertale? Or Robo Grand Prix? We should have one of my appre apprentices. I guess I'm gonna have to fly in a race, most likely. That is me. These sprites are cute. Literally though, that, those are my eyes shutting. My old master sang into this place. You're Diamundo's apprentice, yep. Right works very good, yeah, it's it's fun. On a moment. Hunter? I think one of them is here today. Alright, let's race her. Yeah, they're all very they all have they're all somebody's baby. <laughs> Right? Like, it's, they're all somebody's, like, design. Oh my god. That's a great model. You get to fly a bunch of cute little vehicles. I, I thought I would only have to fly the uh, the mech. This is the delight. Ready when you are. Yes. Yeah, we do need a red the hunter VTuber. Multiplayer mode for this? That is like wild. You have to find two copies of this in like the real world. Hold down the A button to advance and use the control pad to turn up, down, left, or right. So press down on the control pad to ascend and up to descend. The crystals on the course and the boost gauge will fill. Hold down the B button and you use the boost gauge. Items collected on the course can be used to hinder your arrivals. Press the X button to use collected items. Okay. Perfect. I actually was not paying attention to the drifting. I need to read that again. <laughs> I'm assuming it's with the R button. I read it out loud, but I was it like went literally in one ear and out the other. So that I'm gonna remember what all these uh, power ups do. This the one time I do this race. LR to drift. Okay. Thank you. You said it's like Diddy Kong. I was like, oh, okay. It's like basic drifting. Could have known uh, to, uh...
You get a, is there a drift boost? Or no? Oh, it's almost a really good drift. Okay, I can boost with B. I see, okay. Is it boost gauge? I, I'm not looking at chat, because this is, this is some extreme racing. Okay, you can drift like up and down too, of course. Could just be boosting on straightaways. Those are like actual power up weapons. I see. Jesus. very goofily. No! No! Oh, I had a bomb I should be using. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. I didn't know people really, like, enjoyed the DS sound chip. Like, people definitely put in a lot of work to make it sound good, but... I think I could do better next time, but... Oh, it was just a test? I thought they wanted me to win the race. Okay. Is that run? Both you and the machine. Free as promised. Please go fly this cool jet. I'll pay you to fly it. Here's the report. Yeah, that's fair. I, I, I don't mind that. Our taste for racing just head to Davern Islands. They've got racing going on over there around the clock. Okay. The Air Robo GP. More time to fix up the Asmodeus. I think there's like, at this point, I'm supposed to just do quests in the area, so I might, uh, let's see. That's true. The GBA sound is, hardware is, uh, dire. <laughs> I seems worried about something. I think it was that guy that looked just like him who didn't respond to the name you called him by. Be alone. Personal problem. Yeah, I mean, like, it, the, the problem was it was put out through, like, an awful little mono speaker, I feel like, the, the GBA. At least until you got, like, an SP. Even then, it's still put through a mono speaker, right? 
Uh, I always think of uh, Tactics Advance has a really good soundtrack. Uh, where also where else with the Game Boy Advance are you gonna hear those horrid voice clips for like Super Mario World and Super Mario World Three? Were they Super Mario Advance Two and Super Mario Advance Three? That's for many members of the Paladin Clan. Whoa, he's a uh, he is Kira Pika. Oh my God. Oh, two sound channels. Yeah, that's Garbo. My brethren were destroyed by a certain something. I like when Mario says, like, uh, just what I needed. It's a catchphrase. It should make that a redeem. It's like, that's horrible. I'll add that to the list of the stuff to add to the soundboard. So I think that's going to be something I do, like, uh, over Christmas. Because I'm going to rip a bunch of sounds and try to get the soundboard together, at least. It's going to take a lot of work, but it'd be fun to just kind of focus on for an afternoon. But I think... Yeah, I'm still looking for more sound suggestions, because I know I kept being like, Oh, I should make that a sound, and then I never wrote it down because I'm dumb. Now that I'm actually writing them down. Yeah. Oh, ass ahoy. Well, that's gonna stay until I get the sound clip. I also need to add like a, a Brian Griffin pop up, like a, a Brian Griffin jump scare <laughs> for that. This old thing. Luga de desires are to give the medallion to the Kervas, then I fear he may have cast aside his duty to sell, seal the Ares away. Great. <laughs> I'm on this journey to fulfill the moral duty of our clan. Only one left who can do so. Okay. I'm thinking. He's literally Kirapika from Hunter x Hunter. It's very funny. I don't have a home anymore, right? And you live in the mech with me. We can share our warmth. I mean, I mean... Literally, he's just like, oh, you know... We only have two beds, and you know, Shockalog has a should sleep alone because she's a girl. Yeah, that's the twink blush. I think, therefore, I twink. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Means a uh, mouse or a rat makes little distinction between the two. I can never tell if those are like way too small. They seem very small. Yeah, they, they're just going to have to share their warmth. That's perfect timing then, end of the chapter. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll start the we'll start the next chapter uh, the next week, probably. Maybe. I think therefore I twink. Yeah, that's what L said. That was his catchphrase. But I think I think we're gonna call it here for tonight. I think it's this is a good stopping point. I will I'll be back Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna be back Sunday like at eleven. It's gonna be early, maybe like ten if I can swing it. Uh, I want to beat Metal Gear Acid and maybe work on some stuff. So I have plans at like six ish or seven. I have plans around seven probably. So we'll do a big stream on Sunday. Uh, we should just go raid Dot for now though, because I think she's still. Still alive with her subathon. No reason not to raid Dot. Yeah, t t send, send him over to Dot. I'm like out of it. I am so tired and sleepy.